I am very pleased to welcome my old training partner from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the newest addition to the women's bantamweight division, Holly Holm. Holly, how are you doing, old friend? I'm doing so good. We miss you down here, but I see you're doing awesome things. I was like, at least I get to see you on TV, you know? <laughs> Well, likewise. Now, Holly, let me ask you a question. What's it like to come into a division right now? It's one of the hottest divisions in sports with such a dominant and very popular champion like Ronda Rousey. It's exciting. I mean, it's, it, if you don't, I figure in this sport, if you don't want to beat the best, then you shouldn't really be in it. And, I mean, she's the person to beat. And, you know, there's a lot of tough girls along the way. And I just want to be able to take one step at a time and work my way up and, I obviously would love to fight for the title. Otherwise, why would I be doing this sport? You know, it's it's one of my goals and my dreams. I'm just going to keep trying to shoot for it. You know, Holly, everyone's always talking about your impeccable striking game uh, for good for good reason, obviously. But how's the ground game coming along? Well, I feel like I just I'm frustrated right now because I still can't. I'm almost you know 100% released by the doctor from my arm, so I'm only be able to like really light drilling, nothing like live. Um, just to be sure I'm not, you know, posting my, on my arm or doing something that I'm not really in control of. And so it's frustrating that I feel like I can't, you know, do a lot more than I'm able to do right now. But, I mean, it's coming along. I'm not going to – I'll never feel ready even if I had been doing it for years. I mean, I still – I still think that my jab needs a ton of work, and I've been boxing forever. So I don't think I'll ever feel like my ground game is there. Um, but I definitely have a lot of work to do, um, more than my stand-up. But I want to improve everything, not just my ground game, you know. Um, so I've been trying to work on all of it and just drill a lot and, and get a lot of those, you know. Honestly, I, I want a really good basic foundation. That's with boxing. We always kept, my coach always said, just keep it basic. If you throw straight punches, and throw straight down the middle, you know, keep good angles and keep just the basic fundamentals, then you'll be able to do whatever you want off of that. So I want to kind of keep that same mentality and just really like overdo the basics all the time. Holly, how, how is the arm injury? How's that coming along? When what, might we see you uh, in the UFC? You know, I have an appointment. I want to say it's either one week or two weeks off to check, but I'm hoping to be, you know, released. I know I'll be released to do more than I'm doing right now. Um, it's been good. It feels good. It's just, you know, when I see my last x-ray, it was almost 100%, but you could still see where, you know, the break was a little bit, just a faint line. And so we're just waiting for it to be, you know, I feel like once it's, it's healed, one thing about a bone is once it's solid, it's solid. You know, I feel like I'll be able to, once I'm able to go 100%, I think I can really just go 100%. You know, I don't think it's really anything like a tendon where you have to really worry about a lot of, you know, range of motion and things like that and slowly get back into it. I think I'll be able to kind of fire away pretty soon. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and, and Holly, you're well known in the gym down there in Albuquerque as someone who trains harder than everybody else. I know I'm guilty personally of turning you down to go on your mountain runs. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about the woman that we don't see on camera, the one who's been in the gym calling the rest of us male fighters lazy. Oh, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> I feel like I'm still, I feel like I'm training a lot even right now. And I do actually, I had a talk the other day. I think it was John Jones, Travis Brown and Kyle Noak. And it was, um, right before Travis Brown's last fight. And they were, we were talking about strength and conditioning and they were kind of, you know, saying what they thought. And I was saying what I thought. And I finally just said, Hey, speaking of conditioning, uh, cause it was a Friday. I was like, you know, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go run the spring kills, the wing kill if you guys want to come for like a sprint run and they're like, Oh, uh, oh, I got, I got my, uh, my, uh, and I'm like, okay, you guys aren't going to go. I'll be there. And if you want to come, I'll be waiting for you. And I highly doubt you're going to be there. So I do give them a hard time all the time. You know, Holly, you haven't even had one fight in the UFC and you have women like Misha Tate and Jessica, I already calling you out. How does it feel, uh, knowing that you have a target on your back already? You know, it's a lot of pressure, especially just, I mean, people that even just run into me are, oh, man, are you so excited you made it to the UFC? And I'm like, well, I mean, that's exciting, but I didn't make it anywhere yet. I have all of my work ahead of me. And so, yes, it's exciting, but it comes with a lot of pressure and a lot of, you know, a lot of emotion around that. And, you know, I figure you just got to take the good with the bad. If, if nobody was excited about it, nobody was talking about it, that means maybe I wasn't really someone to look out for. But the fact that I feel like a lot of girls do kind of want to, you know, like you said, I have a target on my back and they want to be the first, you know, to get at me. 
I like that. It just makes me want to train harder and it motivates me. And I just, I really want to stay focused on the, and, and just keep it a good motivation and, and not get overwhelmed with anything. Um, and just believe in myself. You know, my oldest brother was just telling me the other day, he's like, Holly, it's still another woman in a cage across from you. And you're going to have to fight them whether they're there big show, not on TV, not, and just, you know, keep, keep focused on the same things. And it's still a fight and just, you know, kind of just take it a step at a time. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, Holly, for many years, you were considered the best female boxer in the world. You know, as you evaluate this Bantamweight division, how many fights do you think it's going to take for you to win to get to Ronda Rousey? You know, I don't know. It's like I want it, and I want it right away, and then I think, ooh, let's take let's take baby steps, you know? So I don't know. I, I, I feel like I've never been one to choose a fight or pick, um, you know, a certain opponent or plan more than one fight out, and so far that's worked for me, so I'm just going to keep it one fight at a time, and I'll let, you know, the UFC, I'll, I'll let them kind of, you know, just say what they want me to do, and I'm just going to take it. Um, I feel like the one time that I would say, no, this is the fight I want is the time that I would just, you know, get my butt handed to me. So I just want to take whatever, um, whatever challenge is given to me and just take it and make the most of it and just plan one fight at a time because you're never promised another day. You know, I just want to take one fight at a time. Ollie, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck. Thank you.